My name is Andy Pilgrim. In this video, I'm going to address the dangers associated with driver street racing and doing driving stunts on public roads. Every driver knows, public roads are no place for street racing or driving stunts. These activities are both illegal and potentially dangerous, not only to the drivers, but also to passengers, occupants of other vehicles, and innocent bystanders. My hope is, if I give you the straight scoop here, you'll take this information, process it, and then use it to help with your driving decisions. Driving is a skill I work hard at every day. Doing it well doesn't only mean vehicle control. Great drivers certainly know how to control their vehicle in all driving conditions, but there's so much more. This video is designed to add some new information to your driving knowledge database. I've been working in the field of traffic safety education for over 20 years. During that time, I've spoken to literally hundreds of thousands of students, driver education teachers, parents, and corporate employees, plus produced numerous traffic safety education videos, currently used by thousands of teachers in their classrooms. I think it's very helpful to have a little background on the person speaking to you, especially in this particular area of traffic safety. I was born and raised in the UK. My interest in cars and motorcycles started when I was very young. I used to dream of maybe one day becoming a race car driver, but racing costs money, and my family certainly didn't have the kind of money to put me into go-karts or race cars. I quickly realized something. I'd better work hard in school. After a couple of years, my professional life shifted from the UK to the USA after being offered a programming job. I've been living and working in the US ever since becoming a US citizen in 1998. My daily transport was an old motorcycle. It was only after two of my good friends got killed in street crashes, I began to realize a racetrack was really the only place to find the limits with a motorcycle or a car. Car racing for me began kind of the same way as motorcycle racing. After three years of saving up as best I could, I bought a second hand race car, which was actually street legal and entered some official races. I drove that old race car to the track because I had no truck or trailer, tried not to crash it and worked on it myself. After a couple of years and some good results, I was given my first opportunity as a paid race driver. The rest, as they say, is kind of history. I've been a paid race driver now for over 30 years, won five championships and over 70 races in my professional racing career, which actually still continues today. I want to thank the NCM Motorsports Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky for allowing me to use their great facility to make this PSA. Actually, we're in their race garage right now. I'm going to break this up into three sections. In this first section, I want to talk about the differences in stopping distances between common vehicle types, something I believe doesn't get enough coverage in driver education. You're gonna see a pickup truck, a mid-size SUV, and a sports car used for this demonstration. As you can see, from 60 miles an hour, the pickup truck stopped in 153 feet. We use an average of three stops per vehicle to get an average stopping distance. The SUV stopped in an average of 126 feet. And the sports car stopped in 85 feet. The average length of a car is around 15 feet. As you can see from the graphic, from 60 miles an hour, the sports car stopped five lengths shorter than the pickup truck, and the SUV was somewhere in the middle. You might question why these vehicles have such different stopping distances. And just to be clear, there is nothing wrong with any of these vehicles. The differences primarily comes down to vehicle weight and how much tire is in contact with the road. There is no getting around physics. I hope this information helps you think more about safe following distances, the danger of tailgating, plus gives you a better understanding of vehicle stopping distances relative to vehicle size. 